Are your iPhone widgets distracting you? And how to stop them. If you're finding yourself going down a rabbit hole in some app and you don't even realize how you got in there and that wasn't why you got on your phone in the first place, there's a chance it could be your widgets. I know the photo suggestions, especially those collections, have caught me a few times. When you find yourself finally pulling out of a rabbit hole on your iPhone and you just want to go do something else as fast as you can before you fall down another one, that's a good idea. But if you can, first take a second and try to remember how did you get there in the first place? This is so you can learn for next time. Falling down rabbit holes isn't about some personal failing that you need to push behind you as soon as possible. It's a combination of the state your mind was in at the time and what was available for it to go into. Sometimes if we can change what's available to go into, we can avoid some of those. So was your rabbit hole from a widget? Home screen widgets come from two places, the ones that you manually put in yourself and the ones that Apple put there. I'm guessing if you put it on yourself, you might actually want it there. Sometimes it turns out one we thought was a good idea isn't after all, and sometimes it just needs a different placement. Does it need to be on a different screen of apps or be changed based on your focus mode? Maybe it is time to delete that widget. Maybe now just isn't a good time to see that widget and you have smart rotation on. Smart rotate means that Siri is going to try to guess which widget should it show for different times of the day. This is at least partly based on your previous usage of that stack. Like with all Siri suggestions, the assumption is that the previous behavior you've shown before is the behavior you would like to continue in the future. That is often not true if you have a distracting app habit. So one option is to turn off Smart Rotate. Then you would just manually rotate based on which one you want to see at a different time of the day. Let's talk about the widgets that Apple put on for you. These are either ones that came installed with your phone, or if you already have a stack of widgets, there's a setting to suggest different widgets. These are not put on for you to be nefarious, at least not mostly. They're there to give you ideas of widgets you might enjoy using that maybe you didn't think about putting on before. Of course, Apple suggests its own widgets the most often. It also knows the most about how people use them. A commonly suggested widget is the Photos widget. But if something like that isn't appropriate to the stack that you want to make, you can turn off the feature. When you turn off Suggest Widgets, only the widgets that you choose will appear in that stack. Take a second. It is absolutely worth it. Look at your home screen. What widgets are there? Are they serving the purpose that you want them to serve? Or are they just kind of noise? Cognitive science shows us that noise is not harmless. It's noise. It can still be distracting, even if you don't find yourself going down a rabbit hole. It means something on your screen is not actually valuable, and you're going to keep mentally skipping over it until it's just bleh. It could be something small, like just making you look less carefully at the apps on your screen because there's some stuff you never touch. But it could also potentially ruin your focus for the day if you weren't on a work break and you happened to see a news article that was really upsetting. In the end, this is your home screen, your widgets. Pick what you want to have on them. Go nuts. What widgets do you like to have on your home screen? Which ones help you get your work done? Which ones are horribly distracting? Share in the comments below. I love hearing how people are using their phones. If you'd like more on hiding distracting apps, check out the link in the description. When you turn off Suggest Widgets, only the widgets that you choose will arrive. When you turn off Suggest Widgets, only the widgets that you choose will appear in that stack. Stack, widget, Siri, Apple, home screen, lock screen, oh gosh. Smart Rotate means that Siri is going to try to, there are so many different Apple terms and branding terms that mean something so similar, and I have to say them right or I'm saying something wrong, and they are very hard to get into the right order. You and your branding, Apple.